what's good everybody brent here with cpc bodybuilding back at it with another show preview we got two for you today so we got two classic pro shows here in the ifbb pro league this upcoming weekend we've got the southern muscle showdown pro in dalton georgia as well as the coliseum pro in milan italy so i'm going to preview both of these shows today give you guys the athletes in each of these awesome star-studded shows and then give you my top three picks for each of these shows so without further ado let's jump in but before i give you guys the lineups make sure you guys like comment and share this video i'm doing all of this promotion for classic physique make sure you guys share it with your friends subscribe to the channel to get the word out because classic is the best division in bodybuilding and nobody's out there covering it like i am so Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. So let's jump into it, guys. So our first show this weekend is the Southern Muscle Showdown in Dalton, Georgia, like I mentioned. So this is a pretty surprisingly deep show. Only 11 guys, but all these guys are studs, like crazy, crazy competitive. We've got multiple Olympians here. So we've got four athletes who are classic olympians already this year we've got a 212 olympian hopping in here we've got camilo diaz as well who competed at the 2022 olympia so we've got six guys of the 11 who have already been to the olympia before so let's meet the competitors so we've got tomas adame chris barnes victor compan camilo diaz educate and wayrutsor mafuz hawit damian patrick Emmanuel Rigotti, Abdullah Saif, Anthony Stevens, Eric Wildberger, Brandon Williams, and Luke Woodside. So those are those are our 11 athletes here. And I'm going to give you guys my top three picks. Before we do, just going to hit the highlights. So the four Olympians we've got here, we've got Damian Patrick here. So Damian competed at the Olympia last year and is really just one of the most classic guys out there, in my opinion, just crazy, crazy talented, competed at the Arnold Classic this past year. So we're going to see him at the Olympia, like I mentioned, this year in 10 days. And then he's going for that 2025 qualification here at this show, just like all of the other Olympians here. So they're trying to punch their ticket a little bit early, maybe get the entire 2024, the rest of this year, and most of next year off before the Olympia. So we got Damien there. And in terms of other Olympians we've got, so we've also got uh, Eric Wildberger too, definitely got to watch here. So he won two shows this past year. As you can see here, he won the Pittsburgh Pro, which is one of the most prestigious shows in the IFBB Pro League. He also won the Optimum Classic. He's won that show two years in a row. Eric is very complete overall, brings crazy condition, huge guy, takes up a lot of space, and he's definitely going to be a threat just like Damien to win this show. Other Olympians to watch. So we've got a guy who is probably coming off his best look to date, in my opinion. This would be Emmanuel Rigotti out of Italy. He finished one point behind Michael Daboul at last week's Legion Pro. Brings crazy shape and structure, good condition, just awesome looking classic physique, crisp lines. He's going to be a favorite here as well and very well could win this show. Another Olympian this year, we've got Tomas Adame. Now, Tomas won the Tri-City Classic Pro earlier this year. He's a shorter guy, but brings crazy, crazy structure to the stage. This is a guy who I had been uh, hyping up the past couple of years, and I saw him at Pittsburgh Pro a couple of years ago and just thought he was he was just stellar, and you know his time was going to come at some point. And, that's what happened this year. Tomas is looking to punch his ticket for the 2025 Olympia here, and he's definitely going to be a contender here in this show. So that's Tomas Adame. In terms of other competitors to watch, we got Abdullah Saif, a 212 Olympian. This guy is so well put together. I was really surprised to see him jump in this lineup knowing that he's a 212 guy. He went to the 2022 212 Olympia. So this is kind of an unexpected addition here, but he could definitely do some damage even here in classic. I think he's that good. 
Another guy to watch, Camilo Diaz out of Columbia. Guy just brings crazy, crazy condition, density, granite hardness. Those are his, his calling cards. And he hasn't won a show since the mid-USA, I believe, back in, I want to say, 2021, which took him to the 2022 Olympia. However, this guy has battled and been in countless first call-outs and is a guy that you never want to sleep on, you never want to count him out because he's a veteran. He's competed so many times, he's got a great stage presence, and he's just very fundamentally sound. He controls what you can, which is the condition, the posing, and this is a guy to watch out for, no doubt about it. So Camilo Diaz out of Colombia, also to watch here. So we've got a lot of good underdogs, like I mentioned here in my post here on Instagram. Uh, we'll start out with Educate and Werutsor. So he turned pro last year at the Amateur O, made his pro debut at the San Antonio Pro this year. I don't know if he has any photos from that show, actually. I probably got a couple where he's tagged. But this guy battled it out with Tony Taveras. So Educate is there on the left. And this guy's crazy big, has amazing structure. The condition was on point as well. He's definitely brought some uh, some of the weak points up. I think he's gotten bigger. His condition's been even better than when he was an amateur. And to battle with somebody as good as, as Tony Tavares in your very first pro show for the win, it's pretty crazy. So Educate is, you know, he's not a veteran, but he's definitely very, very good. And somebody who I think could make a name for himself in this show. So that is Educate and where would soar. And next up, we'll go with another underdog. This is Brandon Williams. So Brandon was top three at that same San Antonio Pro where we saw Educate get second. So he was right behind him. He's the shorter guy here on Tony Tavares' right. Super complete. I think this guy is criminally underrated. Just a, an insane amount of density, man. Just crazy condition too and definitely a guy you do not want to sleep on great detail that is one thing in classic physique that takes you a long way if you've got really good detail great condition great lines you're going to go really far and brandon's got that so he's another contender here to watch and we've also got mafuz hawit he was top three at tupelo earlier this year and i think what he brings best is just uh, this this level of fullness, this level of pop, he brings really, really impressive condition too. He's got a great upper body. He's got good legs too. And Mafuz is a contender in just about every show that he's in. Definitely a guy who can do some damage here. Also, we've got some really good Masters pros that I think deserve highlighting here. So we've got Chris Barnes, who I actually thought he was retiring Earlier this year, he had intended to make Indy his final pro show, I believe. But I'm glad to see him back because he's really talented. And, you know, he's done well. Even as, you know, a Masters guy competing in open classic physique, this is a guy you don't want to sleep on. Really big guy with a wide frame, great shape, clean lines. And I know just speaking to him pretty recently, he's going to be bringing his best for sure. He's had a lot more time to diet this time around. so. He doesn't have to come down from his off-season weight quite as quickly, which I think will benefit him greatly in this show. It's a really clean front double right there. I think his back double bicep is just really, really impressive. So Chris Barnes there. Also got Anthony Stevens here. He is also a Masters pro. This is from Tri-City. You can see he's got great shape, lots of width too. Um, I think th the classic structure is the thing that stands out most to me about Anthony. Just really good shape overall. So Anthony Stevens there. And our lone pro debut here is Luke Woodside. So he turned pro, I believe, last year at North Americans. And I was pretty impressed with Luke when I saw him turn pro last year, actually. See if we can get some good shots. You can see here that the condition is killer. Like super etched in lines. and you know, I think he's going to definitely show off some really impressive muscle maturity here. So Luke Woodside making his pro debut. So I'll go ahead and jump into the picks, guys. This is the uh, the fun part. So I'll give you guys my top three in order, actually. Starting out, I'll go Emmanuel Rigozzi out of Italy. I got him in third place. Simply put, he has 
great structure, very clean lines. His condition is good, but it's not great. It's definitely good enough to stand amongst very talented bodybuilders, such as Michael DeBool, like last week. I do think, however, here, just knowing who is showing up to the show, I think the back double bicep is going to be the pose where he gets beat. But in all other shots, he's definitely one of, if not the best. So I think Emmanuel, he could win this show. I've just got him in third simply because I think the top two guys are going to beat him in back double bicep and also hold their own with him in the other poses. In second place, I've got Eric Wildberger. So Eric has beaten plenty of guys with better shape than him because he nails the things that he can control, which are condition, he poses to his strengths, and he just brings in a very, very fundamentally sound package. I think Eric is super, super underrated. So Eric could win this show. I've just got him in second simply because I think the guy in first place is going to bring ultimately the most complete physique with the best condition and shape. And that is Damian Patrick. I think Damian Patrick is going to take the show simply because, like I said, he brings world-class condition along with superb structure, classic shape, great lines, and he's extremely complete. I think the back double bicep is where Eric and Damien are going to separate themselves from the pack. And I just think Damien, when it comes down to it, has slightly better shape than Eric. So that's why I'm going with Damien here. So those are my picks for the Southern Muscle Showdown Pro. We'll go ahead and get into the next show, guys. So we've also got the Coliseum Pro in Milan, Italy. Now, this is a Sunday show. The Southern Muscle is Saturday. We've got the Coliseum Pro on Sunday. So Without further ado, we'll jump into this lineup here. We've got Eduardo Kilchetti, Luigi De Robertis, and John Paul Usana, Miguel Malamo, who is coming off a win last week at the Tsunami Pro in France. We've also got Andrea Mamoli, Roberto Paizano, David Menezes from Brazil, Carlo Michelini from Italy, Jesus Rodriguez Senda, Tomas Zafranco from Poland, and Jaime Verdera from Spain. So it's our full athlete lineup. I'll just hit on some of the contenders here. So we'll start out here with Carlo Michelini. This is a guy I've seen in person. Saw him at the Florida Pro. These are some shots from that show. I was really impressed. Great overall flow to his physique. Very complete, balanced, very aesthetically pleasing. Really good condition as well. He was one of, if not the most conditioned guy at that show. I do think here... There are going to be a couple of guys who might beat him in the condition department and have that same really just complete physique and classic structure. But I think Carlo is going to be in that conversation. This is a guy who could really surprise people here. I think he's he's very, very slept on. So uh, we've got Carlo Michelini there. In terms of other contenders, I want to definitely highlight Roberto Martinez Paizana. This is a guy who has great structure. You can see from this front double bicep, huge lats, small waist, broad shoulders, great arms. The legs are pretty good too. Very clean lines as well. This guy is very, very good. And I believe he was uh, in that first call out there at the Europa Pro. You can see here. Yeah, so he's th he was third place. So actually, I take that back. This is the Everest Classic. Um and he did do the Europa Pro, but he was third at that Everest Classic, which is a pretty tough show. And Roberto is really one of the, the more veteran presents uh, here in the show. And I think he could do pretty well. So that's Roberto Paizano. Next up, definitely want to give some love to Thomas Zafranco. So he was, I'm not sure where he ended up placing last week at the Tsunami Pro, but I know he was in that first call out. We haven't seen scorecards yet from that show just because they haven't released. And we have also haven't seen show photos, but this is a guy whose condition is really, really hard to beat. Just super, super grainy and hard muscle. I think overall he just might get beat in the, the size department, particularly in the upper body, but this is a really, really tough competitor, guys. I think this this guy's going to do pretty well here. I would be really surprised to not see him in that first call out. So Thomas is a Franco there. 
And then also John Paul Lusana, rookie who's really, really fundamentally sound. Uh, just he looks well beyond his years too. This was four weeks out from, um, I believe the this this was four weeks out from his pro debut, which was Tsunami Pro last week, and from the shots I saw, you know, just kind of following along with that show, I was really, really impressed with what he brought. I can't find any shots from that show, but just really dense, shorter guy. You can see here, this is a nasty side chest. Like this guy is really, really gifted. So that's John Paul Lusana. I'm going to go ahead and just get into my top three here. So we'll start out with number three. I got Jesus Rodriguez Sendra. So Jesus is one of the most conditioned, if not the most conditioned guy like in bodybuilding right now, this guy brings a crazy amount of condition. He's up there with DeBool in terms of condition. Michael DeBool is known as like the, the classic condition king. I also think Jesus deserves to be in that discussion as well, just given what we've seen from him in recent contests. He was third at the Europa Pro, and he's a really big guy, takes up a lot of space, so your eyes are going to be drawn to him. The one thing is, in terms of structure, he's not the most gifted guy. But what he, you know, may not have in terms of structure, he has good structure. That's for sure. He doesn't have the best structure, though. Uh, he makes up for it, though, with his condition. This is just insane if you look at this back double bicep. And he has crazy, crazy muscular development as well. You see the, the adductors, the hamstrings, the glutes, the arms. Just really impressed with this guy overall. I think he's going to do really well here. So that's... Jesus Rodriguez Sendra. In second place, I got Miguel Malamo. So Miguel won last week's Tsunami Pro. This is Miguel's very first pro win. So Miguel represents Mozambique and has pretty consistently been like a top three, top four guy in every show that he's done. I think he's placed outside of that in just a couple of shows that he's done, but he's never been outside of the top six, I believe. So this is a really talented guy. He's shorter, but... He, he packs a lot of punch, as you can see, just great shape, plenty of density, good width as well, lots of detail, and that's where he excels. I do think, however, where he gets beat is just in the structure department in this show, and I actually have the guy who finished second to him last week at Tsunami Pro winning this show, and this is Andrea Mamoli. I think Andrea is going to be extremely motivated to compete in his home country of Italy. And this guy's shape is superb. He brings crazy, crazy density as well. But I think the the structure is just too tough to beat here. I just think Andre Andrea brings this like this golden era 70s-esque classic physique back with like big enough legs to really hang with the guys of today. So he has really just like the best of both worlds. It's kind of somewhere in between like golden era of the seventies and classic physique of today. It's just this very impressive physique. He's a younger guy and he has improved at a steady rate every single year. I think Andrea Mamoli takes this one. I have him winning the Coliseum pro in his home country of Italy on Sunday. So those are my predictions for the IFBB Pro League's men's class physique shows coming up this weekend. So I want to remind you guys to like, comment, and share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to the channel, CPC Bodybuilding, both here on YouTube and Instagram, covering classic physique like nobody else. Stay tuned for Olympia picks coming very soon. I'm going to be shooting those tomorrow, so be on the lookout for those guys. And that's going to do it for the video today, guys. I'm Brant. For CPC Bodybuilding, sign up. Make sure you guys keep classic. See you later.